Although Alfred Wegener succeeded in providing convincing evidence for continental drift, he searched in vain for the causes of these movements, which are today described by the term plate tectonics or convection tectonics. Today we know that the Earth's crust, together with the upper part of the Earth's mantle, the lithosphere, is composed of several plates. These plates lie on top of the softer asthenosphere and form the base of the continents and oceans. Seven major plates have been identified, such as the Pacific and Eurasian plates. A large number of smaller plates have also been discovered, for example, the Mediterranean and Near Eastern plates. The thickness of the plates, which move continuously, varies from 50 to 200 kilometers. The largest plates have an area of 65 million square kilometers. Plates can make horizontal movements, thus moving away from neighboring plates, divergent plate boundaries, or colliding with other plates, convergent plate boundaries. They can also simply slide past each other, transform boundaries. Here we speak of transform effects. The current view holds that convection currents in the Earth's interior are responsible for all these movements. According to the theory of plate tectonics, the lithosphere, the upper part of the Earth's mantle, is not an unbroken layer, but consists of several rigid plates floating on the asthenosphere. But why do these plates move? The reason is almost certainly to be found inside the Earth. The mantle of the Earth is hot and malleable. The energy for this heating is related to radioactive processes within the Earth. The heat generated in this way is gradually transferred to the surface. A convection motion is established, because viscous matter is heated from below and cooled from above. As we know, hot material expands, becomes less dense and therefore rises, while cold material gains in density, becomes heavier and sinks.